Hello Matthias, uh, welcome back to Untold. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome back to Cluj. First of all, we got to say about the rain from last time. <laughs> Every interview I did. <laughs> really? Asking about the rain. Yeah, and but it... but I was there. I was I there. Know, it I was know. it was I don't know, a magical moment. You can't believe I saw so many festivals, so many crowds in my whole life and it, it always been special coming here, but this was the perfect ending. It like without the rain it would have been amazing. The but rain was like the cherry on top. It was really nice. And first like first when I came here and they told me yeah, it might gonna rain, I was like, fuck, it's the worst what can happen. At the end it was just like a couple of minutes and I was like it was the best thing ever. I don't know why. It was everyone who was there. I like today it's like a year later I yep. still get messages like, hey dude, last year on the rain it was insane. <laughs> yeah. I... And how 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 many times do you say that in the rain it was amazing? Yeah. Everyone hates rain. That movie was you cannot describe it if you haven't been there. Uh, you recently released a track with a fellow Romanian, yeah. with Ina. Yeah. How did that collab come about? I've been in touch with Inner for years already and we were like, hey, we have to do something. Um, and we were just sending ideas back and forth over the last year, but we wanted to have something really good. So we didn't choose the first idea we had. And then I had this instrumental together with Aztec and we were like, I'm just gonna send it to Inner and maybe she likes it or maybe she doesn't. And she was like, the next day she recorded vocals and was like, here are the vocals. And we were like, holy shit, that's perfect. Yeah, that yeah, sounds good. That sounds good, uh, and it gets it gets uh, quite big. So I love congrats it, yeah. on that. Thank you so much. Um, I want to know, what do you prefer, um, evening sets, mm -hmm. day sets, or sunrise sets? Yeah. To be honest, I think I like the evening sets the most because it has a special vibe. But also, it it's it's a crazy vibe when when the sun is going up at some point. I don't know it has some some magic as well so it, it's like the mix like what we have tonight like a little bit of night set but then slowly coming like with the sun coming up that's probably the perfect and mix i think the perfect one is that never see yeah never see it oh, like when you see the sun and <laughs> then you see the the ocean that's that's just simply the best I'm Oops. just sad that because like I see it the whole time, yeah. but people they are like <laughs> looking at me, and sometimes I even say like, "Hey, can you guys turn around? It's beautiful." But they're like, "No, nah, I just want to go there." Um, do you also do clubbing sets? Do you prefer festivals or club clubs? Mm, I like both. I I really like festivals a little bit more because it's. It has a different energy. People go there, they, they just might gonna pick like one or two festivals in the summer and then they go crazy. Or in, in ten the... like me. <laughs> yeah, you are a special one. <laughs> but like, yeah, I also like the vibe in the club sometimes because there you can really see the pure emotions of people. You watch their faces and you're like, oh, I, I really see you just don't like this song right now. <laughs> and I like that as well. And they're also closer. Yeah, they are really you. close. Sometimes, I mean, in one club show they even stole my USB stick that, <laughs> really? they were that close yeah. <laughs> they were like yeah and they couldn't even say thank you wow. and then they were gone and the music was off and I had only one USB stick um, um, God. you tour a lot mm -hmm. especially in the summer how do you deal with your mental health what do you do to keep yourself pumped up to I don't know sometimes it might get lonely mm -hmm. do you have I don't know friends that come with you on tour yeah yeah, it's it's really not easy to be honest. It's it's something you really have to learn and to adjust because it, it might look like the perfect life, but you're always like missing sleep. You're always tired. You feel sick sometimes, and sometimes you just want to be like a normal person in your bed at night. Yes. But on the other hand, it gives you so much joy and happiness that this makes the other things, uh, yeah, go away because it's it's. It is something special what we're living in here, but I also do have to remind myself almost every day, like, hey, don't be mad, it's something really cool. It's something really nice. Millions of kids would love to do this right now, what you're doing, and you're tired and you don't wanna, you just wanna sleep. 
and that helps story. Then I'm happy and I think about it and after the show I'm always like good that I did it because it was amazingly there. Do you remember the first time when you heard your one of your songs on the radio? So it did. Yeah, I was in a car and I was driving to somewhere, I don't know, it's years ago and I was sitting in a car and I thought my phone was connected to the car, first of all. I was like, it, why is my phone connected to the car? There was no cable. <laughs> Back like years ago. Uh, and then I saw I wanted to change the music because I couldn't hear it anymore because I was listening to, <laughs> to the deaf already. And then I saw it was the radio. And then I was like, oh, this sounds cool on the radio. It was a different vibe. I don't know why. It was, it was, it's a crazy moment. Yeah, I still think radio has this vibe, especially yeah, because, because you know, know, it's like watching a film on TV or Netflix. There's a big difference yeah. because on TV, you know, millions of people are watching it at the same time right now. Yeah. If you watch Netflix, it's just you and you're on your phone and you're like, and it's the same with the radio. Like whenever I have radio, uh, like radio interviews, for example, a lot of my friends are messaging me like, hey, I just heard you on the radio and it's really cool. It's nice. It's like people still love it. Okay, what music do you listen to on your free time when, when you're not listen, over listening to your tracks? <laughs> oh, I don't listen to any EDM music at all when I'm, when I'm home because I do it like the whole day. And when I work, I love it. I really, really love it. But uh, I think, to be honest, I don't listen to any music at all. Like most of the time, 99%. I love podcasts. I really, I'm really into podcasts because that calms me down somehow. See, and... I also like like super different stuff like sometimes a nice jazz playlist or like even like a 90s playlist or whatever just something super different because otherwise I get stuck in that music and I need inspiration yeah I need well. inspiration from so yeah. from somewhere something else. else and sometimes you hear a jazz song and you're like oh fuck this is really cool <laughs> and then you might take this idea to something else do you have what list of favorite artists to me? that you haven't seen live or you wish? I really like Post Malone, I don't know, I like I really like the songs. I'm even like playing a lot of mashups I'm doing myself with his vocal because I just believe the vocals are insane. Uh, I like him as an artist as well. Uh, and I've never seen him. Uh, that, would, that could be something cool. At who else? New Weekend, it's nice. New Weekend, yeah. Also good voice. <laughs> Great voice. Yeah, I, I just really like good voices. I'm not really into like being a fan of an artist, but if I hear a good voice, I'm like, oh yeah, okay. But this is this song. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Time. Thank you. I uh, wish you a really nice show as well. I'm thank sure the crowd much. will be very good. Thank you. And um, I'll see you on the dance floor. Are you going to bring some rain? <laughs> um, maybe not today. <laughs> not today, maybe next year. Uh, you're gonna have to say "acesta zint fisse," which means that being said, this is how What's my "acesta zint fisse." You have to go. Oh my God! Say it again. "Acesta zint fisse." "Acesta zint fisse." Wow! wow nailed it, it on. Yeah, yeah. Nailed it on the first time. Take it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good one.